Hello everyone, welcome back again to OnHawk channel. If you don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment. If you are wondering again, why is that? Because simply, I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to change the sale badge text on your Shopify store. And I mean the badge on the product that sells sale, you can change it to any text you want. Whatever you want to change it to discounted price or limited time offer, or anything you want and in this video is actually a promise from one of my previous videos where I did show you how to change the sale badge color so in that video I did mention that in my next video or actually two videos I would show you how to change the sale price color as well as changing the badge text to anything you want and this is the second video which is changing the badge text to anything you want and if you are wondering what I'm talking about this one right here as you can see this uh, badge right here says sale. In this video, I will show you how to change this sale to anything you want. To discounted price, limited time offer, or any uh, call to action you want. And we will do that really easily without using any code in this video or anything like that. Because all my videos, I mean, check out the channel, uh, the Shopify store right here. I did make a lot of videos when it comes to customizing a Shopify store to make it unique and branded obviously and everything you see in the Shopify store I did them in tutorials including the video banner right here or the transparent header as well as the hover effect for the menu even changing the hover color for the menu as well as the text color on the drop down and even the small things that you cannot do from the team customizer like uh, removing the underlines from the menu once you hover over them it does show an underline beneath it I did show how to remove them a lot more actually and all the things I did mention right now I did show them uh, by using a custom code and the code is completely free available in the description box all you need to do is simply click on it and it will take you to the page where you're gonna copy the code and the only thing I'm asking for it's just a like please just like the Ben said for the sake of this said emoji right here that's the only thing I'm asking for and it will take you like a millisecond to click on the like button and it will motivate me to make more videos for you guys so I would really appreciate that and I did talk too much about the things I do I apologize in advance anyway so let's just get to it as I said I will show you how to change the sale badge to any text you want so I will stay in this page right here I will keep the Shopify store open and we will do the trick and come back in here and check out the sale badge if it will change or not and not just in here on the collection page even on the product page in here it will change in here as well so without any more talking let's just get to it so let's just get back to the page right here and let's just stay here so the next thing you're going to do is obviously access the Shopify dashboard in here and click on the online store from the left menu and after that click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code right here and it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team and the next thing you're going to do is click on locals file folder sorry right here uh, you will see it at the bottom of the page simply click on it and you will see a lot of JSON files in here and each one is actually based on a language for example this one uh, DA stands for uh, Deutschland I'm not sure I'm just guessing uh, this way this one stands for uh, Spanish uh, this one stands for French so access the file for your language uh, in my case I'm using English so I'm going to access uh, n.default.json if you are using English as well make sure to access this one right here so I'm going to click on it and it will show me a lot of JSON code in here and this is where you can change actually the sale badge to any text you want and the next thing you're going to do is obviously we need to find that section where it says sale and to do that simply click on uh, click on the page first to access the click on the code right like this just like you want to write something then click on if you are Windows click on Control F if you are on Mac like me click on Command F and it will show you this prompt at the bottom of the page and simply type in here sell and hit enter and it will take you directly to the sale as you can see and it might be actually two sections not just one so I will change this one first so let me change this one and make sure you do change the one in between the quotation marks and the one in red not the one on left in here that has the dash make sure to change the one in red so let me select this one and change it to anything I want so let me change it to hit that like button because I want you to hit that like button actually so I'm going to type in here hit like for example so I'm going to type in here hit like make sure to change this uh, the one in red to anything you want because as I said you can change it to anything you want in my case I'm, go I'm not going to type in any call to action because this is for the demonstration uh, I'm going to type in hit like so after that do the same trick again which is uh, control F if you are on Windows or command F if you are on Mac 
and simply type in again sale because it might be two sections if you do use an app for customizing your Shopify store. In my case, I do use uh, PageFly, so it's gonna be two, the second section in here. So simply hit enter and not this one. This is the sale price. Let me hit enter again and here we go. This is the second one in here. So in your case, make sure to go over every, each one in here. In my case, there is only two. So I'm gonna change the second one to the same thing. So I'm gonna select the one in red and type in hit like, cause I want you to do that again. I'm reminding you <laughs> anyway. So the next thing you're going to do is obviously after you did change the one in red to the thing you want is click on the save button right here. And after the changes will save it, we will get back to Shopify store, reload the page and see if that will change or not. So let's just access Shopify store in here and here it is the sale for now. As you can see so let's just reload the page and see if it will change to hit like or not and it will actually because i know it does so let's just reload the page and here we go check out what it says now it says hit like so make sure you do so make sure you do so so let's just access the product page and see, to see if that will change even on the product page as well and here we go it does ch change on the product page as well just like you see right now and just like i promised this is how you change the sale badge tags to anything you want on your Shopify store. And as I said, I'm working for you. If you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment. If you are wondering again, why is that? Because simply, I'm working for you. Otherwise, I take my job and it's done for this video. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.